I'm checking the area for safety. It is safe to enter. Jolling my hands with six steps. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Esther. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse today. I came to do an assessment. Is that okay? It's okay. Okay. Can you tell me your full name and date of birth, please? Elizabeth Parker, 12 9, 1947. Okay. What's your preferred name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, do you have any vision or hearing problem? No. Is English your preferred language? Yes. Okay. Can I cross check with your ID then, please? Okay. Elizabeth Parker, Elizabeth Parker, date of birth, 12-9-1947, hospital number 12345, I'm with the right person. Uh, you have an allergy ban. Yeah. What are you allergic to? Penicillin and metoclopramide. Yeah, that's clearly documented here. It's documented here as well. Mm -hmm. So what reaction you get with penicillin? I get rashes. You get rashes with penicillin. Mm -hmm. Okay. And anaphylactic reaction for metoclopramide. Okay. So metoclopramide and anaphylaxis. So we will make sure we won't give you your any allergic medications. Okay? Okay. Okay, so Elizabeth, are you comfortable now? Yes. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. And do you know what brought you to the hospital? I had a fall. Yeah. And uh, actually, the, you came with fall and head day. Mm -hmm. And the doctors had diagnosed with subarachnoid hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. That means there was bleeding in your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're being treated for that. Mm -hmm. So we will be frequently monitoring your vital signs mm -hmm. and neurological observations. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. I can see cigarettes on your table. Is that yours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, this hospital is a small cray zone mm -hmm. because we have oxygen here. Mm -hmm. So if you smoke here, that can cause hazard of fire. Okay. For safety reasons, can I please lock it away? Yes. Thank you very much. So I'm locking it away. Okay. Um, uh, do you have headache now? Yes, I have. Headache. Okay. Is this position okay for you? Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. On a pain scale from 0 to 10. Zero being no pain and ten being the worst pain. How will you rate it? Seven. Okay, do you need any painkillers now? Yes, please. After. Okay. You need painkillers now? Yeah. Okay, are you happy to wait after I finish my assessment? I can give you? Okay. Alright, so I'll check your prescription and I will give you a painkillers after the assessment. Okay. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, I need to uh, actually check your vital signs now. Mm -hmm. Before proceeding with that, uh, do you smoke? Okay. Yes. Uh, do you know the ill effects of smoking? Yes. Okay. It can cause some lung problems. Mm -hmm. Do you wish to quit smoking? Not really. Okay, that's fine. If ever you wish to quit smoking, you mm -hmm. can let us know. There is always help available. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. I will give you a healthy lifestyle leaflet after my assessment, okay? okay. That's fine. So now uh, I need to check your vital signs. After that, I will check your neurological observations, okay. okay? Okay. Can you open your mouth, please? Okay. There is no visual obstruction. Mm -hmm. uh, I can see your breathing is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing your chest movement, uh, there is equal air entry on both your lungs. I cannot hear any respiratory noises, mm -hmm. okay? Do you have any cough? No. Okay. You are not sweating. There is no cyanosis. There is no cease of breathing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to check your respiratory weight now. Mm -hmm. So can you close your amicals just like this? I'll be counting it for one full minute. Your respiratory weight.
All right. Thank you, Elizabeth. Your respiratory rate is 20. Okay. Uh, the rhythm is fine. The duct is also fine. Okay, and so I'm going to document that. Time is eight o'clock, and your respiration is twenty. I need to check your saturation as well. Before we're proceeding with saturation, I want to check your catheter output first. I'll be pressing the tip of your nail there for five seconds. Okay. okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, your capillary refill time is good. The normal is two seconds or less, okay? Okay. So I will check the saturation now on the same finger when I check the capillary refill. So I need to check your blood pressure as well. Okay. Uh, which arm do you prefer? Right. Right, okay. So your saturation is 99. Okay. That's fine. So let me document that. Okay. I've already closed the curtains to give you privacy. Uh, can I expose your arm minimally? Okay. There is no infection, inflammation, fistula or cannula. Have you had any surgery on this hand before? No. Okay. So I'm gonna place this hand mm -hmm. two to three centimeter above your brachial artery. You will, you will feel some tightness. Let me know if it is too uncomfortable. Is it too tight? No. Okay, 111 over 78. Okay. I'm take this off. Eleven over seventy-eight. I'm documenting that. Okay. I need to check your pulse right now. Mm -hmm. uh, your radial pulse for one minute. Uh, can I check on this one, please? Okay. All right, thank you. Your pulse rate is 80. Okay. So I'm documenting that as well. The rhythm is normal. The strength is also good. Now I need to check your temperature. Okay. Uh, it, using a tympanic thermometer in your ear. Mm -hmm. Which ear do you prefer? Right ear. Okay. Can I check your ear? Yes. Okay, there is no infection, inflammation, or no oozing, no hearing. It. It's safe. So I'm going to attach the cell on your probe. So 
So this goes with you, yeah, okay? Okay, as I said, the temperature is 36.8. Thank you. I'm going to discard the probe. So, now I'm going to document your temperature. For 36. Okay. Uh, do you have any... Uh, injuries, bruises, or bleeding anywhere? No. Okay. Can you please tell me about your past medical history? I have got a stroke a few years back and I had got hypertension. Mm -hmm. And um, knee replacement was done. Okay. Cataract surgery was done a few years back. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, is everything all right now? Yeah. Is your fine. vision okay? Yes. Yeah, Okay, you said you had straw, yes. but is everything fine? Are you okay to move your yeah. limbs? I had a left side paralysis, but now I'm fine. You're fine? Yeah. I'm fine. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I need to um, check your neurological observation as yes. well. And also you're taking medications for all your problems, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So I'll continue with the neurological observations mm -hmm. now. So I can see you are opening your eyes without any stimulation. Mm -hmm. So that is continuous eye opening. Uh, Elizabeth, do you know where you are now? No, I'm at home. Mm, Elizabeth, actually you are in the hospital. Oh. Yeah, you are admitted here okay. with headache and fall. Yeah. And you are having a bleeding in your brain. Okay. Yeah. And I'm your nurse. Okay. okay. You are in the hospital. Okay. Can you tell me your full name again, please? Elizabeth Parker. Okay. Do you know the date today? I know which month it is, but not the date. And, yeah, it is 16th of Jan 2022. Okay. Alright, mm -hmm. so you seem a bit confused. Mm -hmm. And can you squeeze and release my fingers, please? Good. With the other hand, can you try? Yeah. Okay, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, that side you had the paralysis, yeah. but it's okay now. It's okay now. Okay, so you're obeying commands. Uh, now I need to check the size of your paper, mm -hmm. okay? Can you just look straight? I'm going to obstruct the light from above. Mm -hmm. And I'll just compare it. Okay, the size of your paper is 4. Now I need to check the reaction of your paper. Okay, I'll be flashing a light mm -hmm. on your eye. Mm -hmm. uh, just look straight. Don't look at the light. Okay, okay? I'll be checking both eyes. Mm -hmm. Other eye. Okay, both are reacting well. Okay. Now I need to check the strength of your arms. Can you straighten your arm like this? I'm going to apply pressure from my bow. You need to assist it. Okay, actually, your right arm is having severe weakness, but your left arm is okay now. Okay? So, right arm severe weakness, left is okay. Now I need to check the strength of your legs. Okay. Okay, I'll be lifting your leg. Mm -hmm. You need to try to resist it. Okay. Okay? Is it okay if I uncover you? Minimally. Okay. So I'm gonna lift it. Try to resist. This is actually weak. Okay, your both your legs are weak. Okay? The right is having mild weakness, the left is having severe weakness. to calculate your GCS score now. Your GCS is 14. That's because you are a bit confused. Mm -hmm. I'll be monitoring you every 30 minutes. Okay. The reason why we are monitoring you so frequently is to look for symptoms of deterioration because you have a bleeding in your brain. Mm -hmm. So if you have like blurred vision, 
if you feel dizzy, mm -hmm. severe headache, okay, please do let us know. Okay. Okay? And also like your arms and legs are weak, mm -hmm. so you had falls, yes. okay, you are still at high risk of falls. Yeah. So we, uh, what I would advise is, don't try to get it on your own. Okay. We will come and help you. Press the bell if you need help. Okay. The call bell is here. Okay. okay? Uh, otherwise, how is your mobility? Do you use any walking aid? Yeah, I use a walking stick. You use a walking stick? Yeah, I need someone to help to walk in this way. Okay. Have you got the stick with you? Yeah, the trip is somewhere. It's okay. I'll find out. I'll keep it next to you, but don't try to get it on your own. Okay. Do you feel any dizziness when you are getting up from the bed? Yes, I do feel dizziness. Alright, so we will come and help you. First, try to get up slowly. Mm -hmm. Sit at the edge of the bed before you stand up. Okay. But we will come and help you. Mm -hmm. I will also refer you to a physiotherapist. Okay. And it is very important to wear well-fitted shoes. Okay. okay? To prevent falls. Okay. And uh, I will also refer you to the falls prevention team. Okay. Alright, but do press the bell. We will come and assist you. Mm -hmm. Alright? Okay, and uh, how is your eating and drinking? Oh, I'm not able to eat and drink since two weeks. It's like Do you have any swallowing difficulties? Not for a thing, but I don't feel like eating and drinking. Is it because you are not feeling hungry? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I would do is, like, try to eat small and frequent meals, mm -hmm. even if you are not hungry. Okay. And also try to drink two to three liters of fluids daily. Mm -hmm. I cannot see any contraindications. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can have drink two to three liters daily. Okay. All right. Uh, I will maintain a food diet chart. Okay. All right. Include fruits and vegetables in your diet. Okay. Do you have any constipation or diarrhea? I have constipation since three days. Okay. Yeah. Again, in your diet, you need to, as I said, include fruits and vegetables. Okay. Because if you include fiber-rich diet, mm -hmm. uh, that will help in bowel opening. Okay. Again, include, like, drink fluids, two to three liters daily. Okay. I will escalate this problem to the doctor anyway. Okay. He may prescribe anti uh, laxatives. Okay. Do you have any pain urgency or frequency while passing you with? No. Okay, everything is fine. But maintain good personal hygiene just to prevent infection. Okay. Uh, did you sleep well last night? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, do you have any other concerns? Yeah, I could I see my husband. Okay. The visiting times mm -hmm. are from uh, in the afternoon, from 2 o'clock okay. till 6 o'clock in the evening. Okay. So I will inform your husband about that mm -hmm. so he can come and visit you. Okay. Do you have your own clothes? Yes, I do. You know, sorry, Elizabeth, uh, you're not audible. Do you, sorry, I didn't hear that. I have clothes. You have oh, your own yeah. clothes. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So if we can. Do you need any assistance in washing and dressing? Yes. I yes, do. because you are a bit weak. Mm -hmm. Your limbs are weak, and you are feeling dizzy. Yes. So we will come and help you with that. Yes. Okay. Do you need need any spiritual support? Yes, please. Okay. We have chaplain services here. Mm -hmm. Are you happy to be referred to them? Yes. Okay, that's fine. I'll do that after my assessment. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so as I said, I'll be monitoring you every 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay? And any concerns you have, please do press the bell. I'm going to escalate your GCS score to the doctor. The okay. doctor will come and review you. Okay. So my assessment is over now. So I'll check the prescription mm -hmm. and administer your prescribed medication. Okay. Do you have any other concerns? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Thank so you. the call bill is near. Okay. Uh, as I said, I've done the assessment, I've documented it, and I'm going to escalate all the problems to the doctor as well. I'll clean this vital sign machine after my assessment. Thank you very much. So I'm going to hand switch six steps up. And hygiene. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you.